wanted to share with you a story about my mother-in-law. She has dementia and sometimes she forgets to do simple things like flushing the toilet. And my father-in-law, who also has dementia, has to make a comment about it. He cannot leave it alone. Her answer is always, I didn't do it. It was Matthew. Matthew's my 16-year-old son. There used to be a time when I would be very offended that she would say that and would argue with her and say, of course he didn't do it, you did it. And it would just escalate into a very big and ugly argument. And I came to understand that it's not about facts or truth, but it's about understanding. And, you know, that was a something that the Holy Spirit spoke to my heart and has gentled my heart. So these days when it happens, I don't get angry. I actually have sympathy for her. Just know that it's just the way her coping mechanism. And this is a quote I wanted to share with you from Desire of Ages. When the message of truth is presented in our day, there are many who, like the Jews, cry, show us a sign, work us a miracle. Is it not a miracle that we can break from the bondage of Satan? When one who has been controlled by a stubborn, wayward will is set free and yields himself wholeheartedly to the drawing of God's heavenly agencies, a miracle is wrought so also when a man who has been under strong delusion comes to understand moral truth. So what a wonderful way that God has freed me from the bondage of anger. And this is the power of Christ living in your life. It's a truth that is working day to day in our everyday lives. And this is the true miracle. And yeah, praise God that we have such a wonderful influence in our lives. And with that, I love you all. God bless you. See you next time.